hello lovelies welcome back to my channel it's your girl Rita. i'm so excited about this video so today's video is really personal to me because for the longest time i can say i have been in my lazy girl era today i am giving you the steps or tips or strategies i have used is how to drop the lazy girl era before the end of this year before the start of a new year so let's get right into it before we get started i would like to wish everybody a happy 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 new month yeah, yeah i mean i love december i think that's why i'm really really excited because i love the season i feel like it's a season of love uh, anyway shall. that's not why we are here so if you guys haven't seen my previous video this is like a natural progression from that video on how to stay motivated don't worry the link will be down in the description below it's let's dive into the lazy girl era okay before you say you're in a lazy girl era yeah you have to acknowledge that oh okay i am in a lazy girl era if not it's just that like you won't really understand what i'm saying you'll be like hmm, what's she saying you close it up with your blanket you're watching a netflix series imagine if you're watching uh big bang theory 12 seasons 24 to 26 episode itch yeah you can finish it in two days i'm not judging because i've done it before but like that's kind of like what i mean by lazy girl era in case you don't understand so when you acknowledge it and you embrace it now we can move forward okay now you have acknowledged it you've accepted it it's time to move on time to grow up glow up and get ready to achieve your goals so here are the tips on how to leave your lazy girl era behind. Yeah. My <laughs> number one tip is implementing time blocking. A lot of people might not even know what time blocking means. I actually have been doing this for a while, but I didn't know there was a name. So recently I stumbled on it and I was like, oh, okay, okay. So this, this is what it means, okay. So time blocking is where you allocate a specific time, a specific block of time for a specific task. Like I can keep, I give examples, of course. An example is you have a project you're finishing up or you are about to start a project and you're giving it this particular time that you want to first start the project, be done with the project. So you're giving it like from six hours in a day every six hours you specify the time that is that time is for your project so that is time blocking i feel time blocking is a super erotic thing i have been using it for years i'm not super consistent with it i will not lie because sometimes i get distracted like most times i get distracted but so something i really 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 want to seriously implement when you implement time blocking it helps you in efficiency and making it achieve a lot of tasks at a particular time so i use personally my alarm on my phone i use it a lot like i have alarms for basically everything i have it i have my reminders also give me a lot i use my calendar as well and i just started using notion ua you know notion ua i'll place the apps beside me so you can always check them out and you can try using these apps if you've never used them before they are amazing they're amazing very good in time blocking and helps you to perform your tax so that your taxes are not like overlapping so you know okay when this tax when the time is up the tax is up you get so that is it for time blocking my number two tip is creating a vision board yeah a lot of people might not know how to do this it is more graphical than written it is a graphical creation of why you want your life to be vision board is where you place like graphics image of what you want your year your month your week to be like 
a lot of people use vision boards for a year me i use vision boards for a year i was even creating mine for 2024 so i might show you the process of how i do it i use pinterest a lot for this and i use canva because i use graphics so i use canva to create this vision board when you create vision boards it's not just about saying it saying my vision this is what i want this is what i want this is what i want is about feeling it as well you're seeing it you're feeling these goals this is what i want for this year i want to travel i want to go to a particular place i want to experience new things i want to eat new food things you then when you're doing that you put food you put travel you put house you put children you put marriage whatever you want for your vision board for a year so i would advise if you have never done vision board before do it please like maybe it could be the step before your whole i'm up from my lazy girl era you know okay this is where i'm going to this is what i want so you create your vision board for that so create a personalized morning routine for yourself. So create a morning routine that you feel like is for you. There are a lot of morning routines out that influencers, content creators, they post. And you're looking like, ah, should I? Do I? Well, I don't mind. I'm just going to sleep. So you need to create a routine that fits you. I'm not a fully makeup person. And I am not super into skincare even though I am trying because I, I forget. I just forget. I try to tailor my morning routine to suit me, the kind of person that I am. I just posted a mindful morning routine on my TikTok. You guys should go check it out. That is how I do my morning routine now. I am all into affirmation, confessions, and reflection personalize your morning routine to suit you know the kind of person you are and follow that so that you by the time you're up and you're ready you don't feel lazy and you move on with your day to achieve your goals i hope you get what i'm saying so anyway if you're getting what i'm saying and you're feeling what i'm saying don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and comment down below we still have more tips coming up but you can also drop your tip and anything that you have to say. So, ever heard of the Pomodoro technique? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but but anyway, have you ever heard of this technique? This is a technique where you take five minutes break for every 15 minutes that you work. So it's like a productivity sprint. So when you're working intensely for 25 minutes, you've been working seriously intensely. I said so. You take a five minutes break after that to refresh inspiration going to keep your motivation going maybe you take a snack break then you eat water and stuff like that so you continue for your walk after like five minutes make sure it doesn't exceed five minutes if not you lose the whole purpose of the whole technique if you haven't tried that before i just recently tried it just recently tried it and it was amazing i felt so refreshed so it's like as if i took like 10, like 25 minutes break as well and it's just only five minutes. minutes don't go on tiktok don't go on instagram because that would just make the whole effort fruitless please please do not that when you go back to your work you're refreshed if you're thinking of something i was brainstorming on something when i, I came back after five minutes and it was like a whole new idea came to my head i was feeling refreshed i was feeling energized and i really wanted to do the work after five minutes break so it works if you have not tried it before please do and if you do i know you will if you do let me know down in the comment section and how it works for you for my last tip for this video my last how to my last strategy is journaling your reflections or reflecting while journaling if i'm rich a lot of people don't journal a lot of people don't write down their thoughts they don't write down what they want or what they need so having a journal and having a diary is very different journals are more proactive nessy you write down true prompts i'm um, okay i'm going to like drop a lot prompts here 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 so you can answer these questions and just write it down have a book 
a book. I think I'll talk about how to write a journal in the next, like, in the next, in another video. <laughs> if you guys want that, please let me know that in the comment section on how to journal, how to journal. A lot of people don't know how to do that. If you're interested in that, let me know that in the comment section. So when I say ref journal your reflections, you journal things about what you want in your life, how you want your life to be, goals you want to achieve, and how to achieve these goals. Things that you know will probably prompt you or things that you know will affect you in achieving your goals. When you write down those things, I can tell you for sure, it's like putting down your thoughts in paper. So I'm the kind of person that overthinks, I overthink, I try to control things, and it affects me, it makes me feel overwhelmed most times, and it's like, so most times when I feel so overwhelmed, my next thing is to journal down my thoughts and why I'm having these thoughts and what these thoughts need. So I'm not writing a diary. I am using my journal as a therapist. So if I use it like that, I'm using my journal as a therapist. I write down my thoughts and things are really, 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 really affecting me. At that particular time and how to overcome them so i'm not writing about my day i'm writing about my life so that is all for this video if you have never journaled before i am telling you for the year 2024 this month this december please journal please please journal write down your thoughts and write down things that you want for your 2024 like you're affirming it into your life by writing it down you go through it every single day not every day like most times um you are like feeling it and you are doing it and you're thinking about it it is definitely going to get you out of the era of laziness of feeling less motivated and that is all for this video okay this video is tips and that is all for this video i really 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 hope that you gained one or two things from this video because i have used every technique in this video still using it because i mean lazy girl era is not something that just disappears it comes and goes and you need to always know when to get back up so you don't stay in the rabbit hole for a very long time and miss out on life so if you've loved any of the tip i've given in this video don't forget to let me know down in the comment section and if you have one or two that you like to add please do in the comment section yeah and don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friend that you feel is in a lazy era so and my 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 thing that i really want you guys to know is i am in my self-improvement journey and i really 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 love that i'm sharing it with you guys and you guys are with me in this